While the reality of climate change is clearly upon us, the Supreme Court has now, for the first time, made it clear that we, as citizens, have rights to a clean environment and against the adverse effects of climate change. The ruling is profound. It means that the right against climate change is a distinct fundamental and human right. Here are a couple of key points in that ruling. Now, here are exact quotes, in fact. It's yet to have been articulated that people have a right against the adverse effects of climate change, is what the Supreme Court has mentioned in its order. As the havoc caused by climate change increases year by year, it becomes necessary to articulate this as a distinct right. It is recognized by Articles 14, which is the right to equality, and 21, which is the right to life, is what the Supreme Court has said. Now, in passing the judgment which looked at the survival of a critically endangered bird species, the Supreme Court introduced several paragraphs focusing on climate change. Significantly, the court made a clear connection between climate change and the need for a clean, stable environment. The court said the right to health is impacted due to factors such as air pollution, shifts in vector-borne diseases, rising temperatures, drought, shortages in food supplies because of crop failure, storms and flooding. The inability of underserved communities to adapt to climate change or cope with its effects violates the right to life as well as to the right of equality. Finally, the Supreme Court made the point that when it comes to human rights, a violation to the right of a healthy environment has a clearly defined link to rights being impacted across domains. The right to health, the right to housing, the right to water, unequal energy access, it's all interconnected and needs to be seen in that way. Vishnu Shom for NDTV.